I'm this, fine. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Thank you. Can't complain. Doing what I do. This is Ella calling you. <laughs> this is Ella calling you. <laughs> How's everything? Everything's going pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Stop. <laughs> I don't know. You don't, don't. It's, everything will be just fine. Um, Have you ever received a psychic medium reading? Should I explain to you a little bit how I conduct sessions? Um, I have received one. Uh, I have received them before. Okay. Um, The same way I do things? or Were you recommended? How How did you find out about me? I found you on YouTube. Oh. Um. But I've never received a reading utilizing my ancestors always been via tarot card. Oh. So, oh. Yeah. People consider that a psychic medium reading? Mm-hmm. Really? Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. I always thought that I always thought that a medium because a medium is someone that channels. So mm-hmm. I would always think that a psychic medium reading would be somebody that channels information or I don't know. It, it, again, there's not there's not on, there's not one no, one way to do in things, so that will make sense too. But how is the tarot card readings? How does that go? With which um one? interesting mm-hmm. um <laughs> um interesting um one reading and I I think she's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, left me with a kind of more questions. Mm-hmm. Um, she answered a lot. Uh, she did hers by question base. I asked her four questions or whatever, and she, you know, she does what she does with her cards. I think she's great. I think she was in the area. I think, I think, you know, her and her responses, I should say, what the cards say, were in the ballpark of my life. Mm-hmm. It left me with more questions. So I waited a while. And I kind of cleared myself up, you know, whatever energy I had, I tried to. And I had another reading, which was tarot card. It was on the same frequency mm. as um, the other person. I was like, hmm, mm. interesting. Um, very. It, it, the only difference between the two, I would say, um, would be how it ended. Like mm. on one reading, it ended with some good things. Mm. And the other reading ended with some bad things. So the person kind of did you an know, oracle reading mm. to say to see where it was coming from, and the oracle reading kind of further explained that it's not going to always be this way. But I'm going to go through a particular storm. And I was like, I don't know how. I mean, nothing. No reading is always good reading. You know, it's, it's not what you want to hear. It's just the truth. Yeah. And I was like, it's what is what the person picks up. Like <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always what the person yeah. picks up. I always tell that to my clients too. Listen, hey. You know, it's it's just what the um, it's just what the spirit guides tell you. But me, I don't. My tool is what can I say? My tool is shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my tool is just me listening or me connecting my mind. My mind. That's what I'm gonna say. My third eye, my pie, my all seeing eye is my tool. Hey, I don't have cards. I don't. You know, I just have this connection with the spirit realm, I guess. That would be my tool. But it's interesting. I always I always wondered about that. Like the, the tarot card readings, the oracle card. I always wondered, you know, because I'm always open to new ideas, you know. Shoot, sometimes I go for, for readings myself, too, just to see, you know, see if the person is on point, see if the person can pick, up, pick me up, and, you know, just it's just interesting. So I do understand that. Um, but however, your spirit guys is gonna. Are you there? I'm here. I'm oh, listening. I'm okay. very. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm listening. I'm very quiet. Oh, but. okay. Okay. I was. Just, <laughs> I was just, okay. Um, what I was gonna say, your spirit guys is gonna tell me things about you that happened in the past, present, and future tense. So let's get that understood. So I may, when I start the channel, I may channel things that happen to you in different timelines. Um of your life, even in your past life as well. Um, so in any event, just be, con- you know, uh, mindful of that. But the first thing that's coming up, um, were you close to a grandfather or someone like um, a man? 
Um, it could, it could, it could even be someone that you might have had a relationship with, um, in your past life that you might have hurt, hurted. Um, and he is coming back now because he, I, I, my heart is very heavy right now, my love. Um, so I'm feeling like this is a heartbreak and I see a man here. Um, so I'm not sure if you got your heart broken by somebody or you have broken this man heart. Um, but he is here, um, and his heart is broken. So we're dealing with the heart chakra. Um, or rather releasing pain or releasing unwanted feelings. Um, I'm not sure how in tune you are with the spirit realm if you have visions of like a dark-skinned, tall man. Um, very strong brother, warrior-type brother, but I'm really feeling like you had a relationship with this particular guy here. Um, because again... Oh, wow. Yeah because my my heart is very heavy um so it feels like a loss you know like a separation or a loss or something of that nature um and the reason why I asked for and this is this is this is deep um the reason why I asked if it was your um um grandfather or something because it feels like an old soul you know um I don't know if you have <laughs> issues in you like you you want to put me on or something <laughs> um who you're talking? This person is still alive. This person is not dead. If you're talking about, uh, he's still alive, and um, uh, I can't say I broke his heart. I can say that what we had was very unique, and okay. he was 20 years my senior. So this was this was the old soul you see. He was 20 years my senior, and um. I had a certain lifestyle that I exposed to him, mm-hmm. and he yet fell in love with me. Mm. And because of my lifestyle, I could not be with him. Oh, so shit. I didn't miss the heart. But we're still friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I understand. Okay. But that man's heart, yeah, yeah. And, and again, oh. and again, like I say, your spirit guide is going to tell me things about you from the past, present, and future. But I'm picking up more so on the spirit. So, not really the avatar body. Now, as you confirm, you're confirming the actual relationship, you know. Um, But I'm picking up on his spirit. So, at that particular moment, and I feel like, let me tell you one thing. I always tell my clients, if you don't, if you, okay, if you get in a relationship with someone and um, you don't do like a release affirmation or you don't set this person's spirit into the universe with love and light, if rather you got your heart broken or he got his heart broken, that residue still lingers around you, still lingers around the person. It's like it's like not having closure. So if you have never did like a release affirmation for him to find his good elsewhere, that's still gonna re- that's still gonna be present, and it's very heavy with me, with him. You know, it's it. I'm I'm really picking up. So what you can do, and you don't have to contact him and tell him all of this stuff that you know you're doing. You, during meditation, can perhaps um, visualize this white or pink light and just send it to him. You know, send him the the light of healing. Send him the light of, you know, even though he might have gone and and he probably is in a relationship now. But I'm talking about what has been. Right, exactly. (laughs) I'm talking about what has been done to him. And again, he may be in a situation with somebody and he may not even be able to trust this particular person because of what he has been going what he has gone through. He hasn't really even healed himself from, you know, past, you know, relationships and things of that nature. So to help him be a better person, um you Taking responsible of what you did or responsibility of what you did, I would definitely recommend that you do so. And then, two, in return, as you set this white light to this particular brother, it will come back around to you so that you can receive the love and the universal love that you want or this 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 healing that you desire. The heart chakra deals with lots of different portals in the body. It also deals with ascension. Um, and if your heart is not 
resonating or vibrating on the frequency of the earth, its hurts and its beats, then you will be left behind. And this is the main thing, and I'm being so honest, this is the main thing that I, I stress to my clients while on this journey in terms of resonating heart with your heart, with the heart chakra on a higher frequency or on a balanced level because if you're not aligned with the vibration of the earth, you know how they say, you know, uh, Erica Badu said, the mothership is coming and your ass will get left behind. So, uh-huh. so uh-huh. I love her. Yeah. That's my that's that's another Piscean. I'm a Pisces. She's a Pisces. She speaks occult science, such as myself. You know, we speak a certain language, and this is what I'm picking up now, because my heart is 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 it's it's uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You know, are you in a relationship now? <laughs> um, n- no. Um, mm-mm. Okay. I don't want to talk about that. No, I'm, I'm not. It's complicated. It's I'm complicated. Not. I get it. <laughs> Relationships is but the, complicated, the, the fears my are working. The th- things are working out. So I'm just, I'm just being patient and living my life accordingly. As you should. As you should. <laughs> And let me tell you something, Sister Power, hey, as you should. You, <laughs> you know, we can't stress about things not being the way we want it to be because, again, things is not going to be how we want it. Things is going to be how it's supposed to be, you know, in any event. You know, and we all desire a loving relationship, marriage, children, cars, house, blah, blah, blah. All of this materialistic and physical thing, but is the spirit right? And that's what I'm picking more so up with you. More so of spiritual spiritual tweaking is what your aunt, your spirit guides are saying. She needed she needed an attunement. You know, like you know when when you got a, 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 a instrument and you need to tune it up a little bit. That's what they're okay. saying. That's what they're saying with you. Uh, more so of toning up the toning up your heart chakra, um, so that you can release, or rather, you can not attract. Um, the same kind of situations coming to you. It's all it's all based on you, because whatever's internal, whatever your internal vibration is 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 resonating with, then guess what? That's what you will attract to you, you know. And you also have to be you feel like you're worthy of. You have to be worthy of. You or rather feeling like you're worthy of success or worthy of wealth or worthy of being in an intimate relationship. But how or rather not but but however. In order for you to be in this intimate and loving relationship, it has to start within yourself first. And this is where it comes in that where you saying, hey, I'm just doing me now, which is, as like I said, as you should. You see, <laughs> um, as you should. You want to keep eight white candles with you um, starting on Fridays, um, burning fri- uh, tomorrow's Friday. Okay, so then that makes sense. It's like a dove setting yourself free. It's like you need you need you need a uh, purity to come back um to you. And again, I'm not quite sure of the different transitions that you have made within your life. But oh right my gosh! Now, go oh ahead. my gosh! You won't believe this. It's a lot, right? I just no. I just oh my gosh! I just did. I mean, I'm a cry baby, but I'm not gonna yeah. cry. I just did a three day. Cleansing, purifying, white candle burn, and it's about to burn out. Like I'm looking at it, and it's just it's like pretty much the whole candle has pretty much just like burnt itself out. So for you to come back and say, now I'm saying I need to do it again, but I feel so heavy. So now you, I can do it. It's just okay. I'm, I'm now you know. It. See exactly. Now you know that you are in perfect alignment with what you need to be doing for yourself. Mm-hmm. This is just confirmation, my love. You get it, right? <laughs> right so and that's why I feel like the heavy the energy whatever however energy it is that you've been going through or rather picking up from other people because I feel like you're a sponge picking up energy from other people as well oh my gosh mm-hmm. I am a sponge I soak up emotions I'm a Virgo yeah so I pick think. up everybody's emotions Opposite Pisces, yeah, opposite my sign. You feel more like me. You feel more like a Pisces, very emotional, very sensitive, super sensitive. 
super psychic, super intuitive, super creative. Yes, you are a crybaby. Pisces ain't crybabies <laughs> like that. But Virgos, y'all cry, y'all cry, baby, <laughs> crying, crying ass people for no reason. But it's all good. You know why? Because it's a form of release. It's a form of expression. It's a form of letting go, you know. It's best for you to cry than to try to, like, oh, I'm tough. I don't, you know, I blah, blah, blah. No, cry. You know, my best friend, she's a Virgo. You know, she cries. <laughs> she cries for everything. The, doc, the, the, the doctor told her that she might possibly have something. She start crying. It's like, yo, they didn't tell you that you have anything. They said that you possibly. Yeah. And she just starts crying. She just starts crying. You tell her one thing, she starts crying. It's like, girl, over-emotional. So when we're speaking about over-emotional, being over emotion, we also speaking about the heart chakra, as I said, and then also balancing what? The soul chakra, your soul, your first gut, that gut feeling, the, your first mind, you know, the first brain, as I always say. You know how when they say go with your gut feeling, that, that, that's the mm -hmm. first brain in any event. So I would definitely recommend that you do more of the soul and heart chakra during the eighth candle burning. Um, continue to do it. Continue to do it. You should do it for like a whole month if you can. Um, and see how that works out for you. And then two, hold on, give me a second. Do you know Kakaria? The chalk? Hello? White. <laughs> you said who? What? <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. It's all good. <laughs> do you have a botanica over there? Um, no, I just ordered some things. Uh, I don't have a botanica here in Texas, but I just ordered. You, you are in, get out of my head. <laughs> my, my, my shipment from the botanica online. I just had a whole shipment coming yesterday, like mm. against like candles and just crystals and things like that. So what do you got to say about that? I'm, I probably I'm, already ordered. <laughs> I, 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 the crystals is good, but I'm not really feeling the crystals. I don't think that that's necessary for you right now. It may be necessary for you in the near future, but in order for you to get to step B or or or, or you know yeah step B, you gotta you gotta master A, and mastering A is pushing you through those doors first. It it feels like your number is nine eleven, you know, like September eleven or. Um, something like that because 9 is the number of completion and then 11 is the numbers of transformation or transition and into other dimensions or other cycles within your life um, or within your journey. Um, but again, the crystals are good. I work with crystals. I sleep with crystals every day. Um, it depends on what you are using the crystals for. But in order for you to purify yourself, um, the candles is coming through. The um, it's like white chalk. It's like something like white chalk, and it 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 helps with cleansing. Um, I sometimes sell sell it to my clients. Um, but what they're recommending is for you to take um a bath with three cacarillas. Um, this is recorded. You don't have to. You don't have to um scribble scrabble no words. Okay. Yeah, this is recorded. Um. So in any event, three three uh, cacarillas with some coconut water, as you as you burn the white candles is what they're saying. Okay. For like a month. Wow. Not not month. not the month. The month will be the bur burning the candle burning, not the bath. Okay. Um, okay. the bath or this cleansing bath will be. The middle of the week is what they're saying. Tell them to do it in the middle of the week. I feel like a Wednesday, the day of Mercury. Um, you know, the day of uh, the Mercury deals with channeling and networking. Mercury rules Gemini. So Geminis are the natural channelers, um, the ones that, you know, communicate between the physical and the spiritual realm. So in order for you to get that deep connection or not this this is not the only way but this is one way for you to get in tune with this spiritual connection of yours i would definitely recommend that you do it on a wednesday you take this like this just a clearing bath you know purifying or releasing you know cleanse yourself cleansing clearing um clearing bath so if they don't have that um cacaria uh at any botanica, and I don't even know how to spell it, uh, but it's like white chalk, um, spiritual white chalk, uh, contact me, 
and I'll perhaps sell it to you if you desire. But that's what is coming through for you for, for, for purification. Do you work with flowers? <laughs> no, I Plant? don't work with flowers. However, um, I don't work with flowers. I wish I did. But I do. Sometimes my work requires me to be outside um, in the elements sometimes. Yeah. But I don't work with flowers. Yeah. You, you got to incorporate that as well. Um, plant, which is the earth energy, which you are a earth sign dealing with, you know, um, uh, Aset, which is the earth, which is, uh, the mother, um, and you're dealing with Virgo, which is the Virgin Mary, Mary or whatever, also known as Aset, also known as Ishtar, um, but, you know, it's just, it's just elevating your frequency is what they're saying, so in order for her to elevate her frequency, she has to deal with the elements, so we have, what, fire, uh, fire, then we have, what, the water, the bath, which is, you know, water, and then we have the plants, which is earth, and then the mental, which is the mind, um, which is air, you know, clearing the mind, clearing out the mind, um, because I see that your mind is going like a million, uh, what they say, a, a minute, a mile, or whatever the situation is. A million miles a minute. <laughs> yeah, so in order for that to balance out, my love, you know, these are the certain steps that your spirit guides are recommending for you. So it's basically, I'm feeling all white um, in your approach. What, what is, when is your birthday, my love? What, what's my, what now? What am I using, what? Birthday, birthday. September 4th. Oh, you're a 4. Oh, so we're dealing yes, with the... Yes, my birthday. Okay, we're dealing, with, we're dealing with the square. Oh, okay, so let me break this down to you, my love. So... You remember when I said September 11, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you know where I'm going with this? Oh, no. You don't, I, you I, don't I, see I, it. I, I, I'm feeling it, but I don't know. Oh, gosh. Okay. So let me break this down to you real quick. Um, Or right quick. <laughs> right quick. Let me break this down to you. Right. Yes. Okay. So you, you remember when I said that you feel like November 11th. I mean excuse me, September 11th, right, um, mm -hmm. transitioning, so you have the number four, right, if you divide four, mm -hmm. if you break down four, like, let's get down to the root of this, if you divide four into two, you have two, right, the number two, right, mm -hmm. so now, mm -hmm. what makes two, one plus one makes two, so one mm -hmm. and one is what, 11, the same attributes that the number two has, the number eleven has as well. So when they say nine eleven, we speaking we speaking about the root of who you are, the the ultimate person of who you are. So nine four, if you break that down even deeper into the core of this number, you have the 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 the, the numbers that make it up is one and one, right? Because one plus one is two, and then two times two is four. And vice four. versa, four divided by two is two, and then if you divide two with two into a shell, it goes one time. Exactly. So everything is within alignment, my love. Everything is okay. Everything is within alignment. Um, I would definitely recommend for you not to stress about love, or rather, not to try to manifest anything but instead allow it to come to you. you just like you said you are doing you which is a wonderful magnificent thing like i said we only desire certain things because we are surrounded in a world where we have to be married at a certain age everyone is in love you know, everyone is having children. It's overrated because a lot of us don't know who we are. A lot of us don't have knowledge of self, and that's where the problem is, and that's where the and that's why the society is the way it is now, because you have two people that is needy of each other, and the people that are needy of each other don't know don't even have any sense of self. So how can two people even build? How can you build? How can you be anything if you not right if the soul is not right how it de and then also and it also depends on your goals in life it depends on 
what you want to manifest or what you want to create. If you just want a relationship, then fine, get with anybody. But if you want to get with somebody and you want to expand, then you have to have knowledge yourself. You have to be right within yourself because what you want to do is you want to attract a king that is on the same frequency as yourself. So that's why the whole, the the, the breakup with the, the other dude, the older dude, came through because you have to deal with the root chakra. You have to deal with the bottom line of this, of manifesting what it is that you want. And it all, and like I said, it deals with the heart. I mean, real things. The breakup came. Say that again. Say that again, my love. Hello. 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 Okay, let me call her back. Mind you, I have a oops, I can't even oh. I have a seven a galaxy seven ed, a seven edge galaxy the hottest phone out and this is the stuff that happens this is unbelievable here yes my love what was you saying i'm sorry my my um, phone here oh it's okay um i said the the breakup came to about took my mask off and I realized who I was and Ooh. I've always was just I'm 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 a, I'm a lesbian and I've always dated same sex. Mm. Um since I can remember I've always loved same sex and I and he's always known I never lied. He mm. never it was not something over his eyes. But one day I was in the mirror and I just said I'm so unhappy and he said, What's wrong? I said, I, I, I don't want to live this lie anymore. He said, You're ready to come out? I said, I am. And when I came out to my family and to my parents mm. and my friends, he was right there beside me holding my hand. So mm. I did, that breakup didn't happen. I came, I stopped living a lie. I stopped living the life of a heterosexual woman. Mm. And all my heart was a homosexual one or mm. a lesbian female. Um, mm. So that's so that, what you see him. I think he was kind of like, I think he wanted to make me happy mm. and give me the world. But he was just the wrong gender. And yeah. It's something he can't control, nor can I control. And 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 I'm so. glad. And then I'm and then I'm glad that you confirmed that because that that right there is why my heart was heavy because you and like I said, I don't know what type of transition you what you know you was what what happened in a sense, but that's big, you know, for a lot mm-hmm. of us. That's big to just come out and be accepting to the public of who you are. You get what I'm saying? I know it was a very um, stressful (laughs) situation. I know it was a very scared, you know, you was perhaps scared of how people would view you. Your emotions was back and forth. Your heart was heavy. You was unhappy, blah, blah, blah. Now, like I said, if you haven't been releasing all of that, because everything is, is built on energy. And I always say, if you don't, shed yourself from past things, where is it going? It's it's still going to be with you, you see. It's going to so, stay with you. Right, it's going to stay with you. So that's why I'm picking it up so, so, so deeply like that. And that's why I kept saying, my heart, my heart, my heart. Because, and you could testify to it yourself. You know that you was in, perhaps in a depressive state at one point of your life. You get what I'm saying? So, in terms of, and what I mean by depressive state... I'm not saying, oh, I want to kill myself, I'm in the dark, (laughs) you get what I'm saying, but you was in a state where it's like, damn, how do I do this, you know, I have, I, 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 I am not how, I don't have the willpower in a sense, you know, and then you gain the willpower, and now what, you are setting yourself free, you're purifying yourself, so in this transition, or in this, you know, in this journey of purifying yourself, these are the certain things that we will recommend for you to do. When I say we, I'm speaking about me, Mama Ella, and your spirit guide. Okay, my love? Okay, Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Do you have any other questions? Um, I, I, I guess, I guess not. Um, I, I 
curve now, I guess. Mm-hmm. A lot to take in, but mm-hmm. I, I, mean, I guess, I guess, I guess not. And this is why I've been having some block issues. I try to meditate. I can't focus. Um, I had a meditation a couple of days ago, and I actually, well, I was, I always pray before I meditate. You know, I get, I'm thankful. And I do my, my thing. And I was just praying before I even went, and I was just crying. Mm. But it was, it was like a cry out, mm. like, type of thing. And I was, and I haven't cried since April 23rd. Mm. I know I'm a date person. I, I feel it shouldn't be a date person like that, but April 23rd, I haven't cried. And that last cry was a very painful cry. Mm. Uh, but I had not cried out. Like, I just feel like something, someone needs to hear me. And that was pretty, pretty expensive. Uh, it was pretty, pretty heavy for me. Um, I, I've been trying to meditate. I've been trying to get through a wall. I've been trying to break down a wall, but I just can't focus. I feel like nobody hears me. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, that's, and, and that's the why. heaviness. That's the heaviness that I'm picking up. Definitely, that's what I'm talking about. That's the that's the heavy of the heart that I'm picking up. Yep. Yeah, all of that I, that you're I, saying, I, you're saying the heavy, painful cry, all of that that that's a form of release, and that's why the color white is resonating very strongly with you because you want to purify. You're releasing the the toxins, the emotional poison inside of your body, in order for you to be pure again. You know. Um, so it's all good, you know. It, it, it's it's all good. You, you, it's not like I said. You can. It's crying is good. Crying is not not bad. Crying is actually good. Okay. I guess so. Yeah, it is. It's it's it's, 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 it's actually good. Mhm. Oh, 